Hello, my name is Dr. Tony Salome, and today we're going to talk about a condition called diabetes. And I'm sure that um, you've heard of diabetes, um, you may have it, um, or any member, family member, or friend um, may have diabetes um, that you know. And really, what that is, is a condition where our body is not able to utilize or use up the glucose, the sugar that's in our blood, and, it, and it's not able to uh, bring it into the, drive it into the cell properly. And uh, that's a problem because it leads to fatigue, um, weight gain, um, leads to fatty liver, uh, it leads to predisposes us to cancer, um, and, a, and a whole host of other uh, health ailments, as well as neurological complications, Alzheimer's disease. Um, so. Uh, diabetes is a very uh, serious condition, and um, that's uh, unfortunately has affected 8.3 percent of the population that's actually diagnosed with it. And um, about 79 million people are pre-diabetic, so you can imagine that that's a huge num uh, that's a huge number, and uh, it is growing and growing. Before it, was, it used to be called adult onset diabetes. That's the type 2 diabetes that we're talking about today, and uh, right now. Uh, we're seeing this early in uh, early in childhood and teenage years. We're seeing diet. We're seeing the spawn of diabetes, and it's just growing, growing. And um, so there are things to do that you can actually treat the diabetes and actually get 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 the diabetes not only under control but help reverse it. And what we do in our office is we use uh, functional medicine and functional neurology to assess the neurological state of the individual as well as the metabolic uh, state of the individual because a lot of people with diabetes have chronic inflammation and that causes, um, that causes uh, exhaustion in the pancreas and leads to um, this problem. You see, the pancreas produces the insulin and the insulin is what takes the blood glucose or the sugar in the cell and drives it into, from the blood, drives it into the cells. When it doesn't get utilized and it doesn't get uh, uh, used up, then it starts to, it stays in the blood and that's what creates the elevation of blood sugars. So the pancreas in, in type 2 diabetes or even pre-diabetes, there's a state of called insulin resistance. This is where the body is not responding well to the insulin. It's not able to drive in the nutrients and, and the blood glucose into the cells. And uh, this is where basically these insulin receptors uh, become lazy and they don't operate properly. Many people, uh, many patients that come to our office who have diabetes have other also health problems, but uh, diabetes is a condition where it can be, it can be uh, not only controlled, but it also can be treated and managed and to bring back to normal state of health. Um, we, what we do is we look at a person's whole uh, metabolic makeup and neurological and see exactly what, what is going on with them in particular. Uh, taking a look at uh, their liver, taking a look at their um, adrenals, and taking a look at their pancreas and seeing they're doing some functional tests to figure out what's going on and, and, and how they're actually managing their, their sugar and managing their blood glucose. Of course, there's genetic type of uh, reasons as well as nutrient deficiencies and, and things that uh, affect, uh, affect uh, the diabetes and, uh, and which continue to ensue. So if you would like more information about uh, our approach and um, more, just more information on diabetes, um, just feel free to, uh, to uh, go on to our website. It's uh, thebaydoctor.com. And also, uh, you can call our office at 850-785-9372. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm Dr. Tony Salome, and have a great day.